Hello again. One of MFAL's admin users' tasks is to take care of the properties and values of the vault. In this video, I'll show you how you can add a new property definition and a value list in the MFAL's admin tool. Let's get down to business. You might want to expand the list of property definitions so you can see all the built-in ones as well. This helps you see if you're about to create duplicate definitions. First, you need to come up with a catchy name for your property definition and then determine which sort of data type you want it to use. You have a variety of data types to choose from. There is text and multi-line text for a heading or description. You can pick one value or several values from the options on the value list, or you can choose the date and time. The timestamp one requires a script to work, so we'll leave that for some other time. But in short, it generates a timestamp for your document. You can choose between an integer or a real number, and you can even use the Boolean data type where you choose between yes and no. For example, the description could benefit from text or multi-line text data type so the users can freely describe their documents. From the content drop-down menu, you get to choose if the contents of the field are to be plain text, a hyperlink, or an email address. This applies to the text data types only. In some cases, it's good to use the Choose from List data type. For instance, if you want to choose approvers or reviewers from the users for the documents. You can also allow the property definition to be used as a grouping level, which could be beneficial when creating a view that lists documents that contain this property definition. Now, I'll show you how these look like on the metadata card. The description is a text field where you can freely write whatever is on your mind. The approval date prompts us with a cool calendar to pick the date from, and Approver gives us a list of users to pick from. Now here's the difference between Choose From List and Choose From List Multi-Select. You can choose many people! Neat, right? And like I mentioned earlier, with the Boolean, you get to choose between yes and no. Next, let's add a new value list that we can use with a property definition. Creating a value list is as simple as creating a new property definition. Now, take a look at this little box. This is worth noticing. If a value list has a predetermined or fixed set of values, it makes sense to leave this option disabled. But if new values are added to it regularly, it makes sense to allow Vault users to add the values themselves. When you create a value list, a property definition with the same name is created automatically. Now let's head for the contents. Here, you get to define the values that are going to be used for the property definition. Groovy. And that's how easy it is. I know there are plenty more things to explore when creating property definitions and value lists. But as I always say, no need to worry. They'll be covered in other videos. Now go ahead and try out the things you learned from this session. See you in the next video.